So once we set everything up and click OK, here's what's going to happen. You'll see this box in Microtype that's asking if you want to take a pretest. The pretest will tell you how fast you type and what types or your error rate. We're not going to take the pretest because we're just going to jump right into the typing lessons. So go ahead and click No. Now, when you click No, you'll hear a person with your earphones begin to talk. It will be a man's voice telling you what types of details you'll see in Microtype. What our class will do is first we'll do the alphabetic keyboarding unit, then we'll do numeric keyboarding, keyboarding skill builder, and numeric keypad. Each one of these will take you several weeks. So we're going to start with alphabetic keyboarding. I'll go ahead and click it and I'll show you what you're going to see when you do it. So alphabetic keyboarding has 20 lessons. We start with lesson one. Now once you click lesson one, again, with your earphones, you'll hear someone reading the instructions that you see on the screen. Notice to the right, you have several buttons. This one says learn home row, learn enter, learn space, practice home row, improve keystroking, build skill, game, and lesson report. Each of your 20 lessons has buttons similar to these. When you finish one of the lessons for the button, the button will change colors. So that's how I'll know which ones you've completed and that's how you'll know which ones you've completed. So, to finish Learn Home Row, We've listened to her instructions. Now we need to follow this instruction at the bottom to get the next set of instructions. So it says tap enter to continue. I'm going to tap enter and they'll give me the next bit of information. I listen, I tap enter again, and now they're showing me where to put my fingers on the keys. So I'll go ahead and do that. They're giving me an instruction to tap the F key. Once I tap F, it'll go to the next instruction, which says tap D. So I'm going to tap D, S, A, J, K, L, semicolon. Now, if at any point your computer pauses and stops moving, probably what that means is there's an instruction that you need to complete for it to give you the next bit of information. One more important detail that I'm going to show you now is that you'll get some questions about whether to continue or repeat. See this question at the bottom? It says, repeat this exercise, tap yes or no. When Microtype asks if you want to repeat, in this class, we need to say no, because we have so much to cover, we don't want to repeat things we've already done. Sometimes you'll get a question that says, review or continue. Again, go ahead, and choose continue because we don't want to review things we've already learned unless you really feel that you didn't understand or that you really need more practice with that aspect go ahead and continue so for this one repeat this exercise I'm going to click no now notice that I finished the first little group so this box is checked once I finish learn enter it'll be checked learn space and con continuing on. They'll be checked once I finish them. So go ahead and begin your microtype lessons. And when you have questions, raise your hand and I'll come around to help you.